Hi, I'm Leo from the French High Tech Media Look Café du Geek, and today we are going to interview with Lee from Holmes AI. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? My name is Kwang Hyun Lee. Uh, I'm the CSO of Holmes AI and Future Growth Development. Nice to meet you. And I heard uh, you're getting a CS Award 2025. So first of all, congratulations. Thank you. And uh, then I want to know more about uh, this award. Um, and first, how do you feel about it? Uh, uh, it's, it's really been an honor. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's an honor to receive this award uh, from CES. And I'm very excited. Our whole company is excited. And we are looking forward to it. So currently, uh, we got the award in accessibility and aging tech. So Seahill Homes or Homes AI, our technology is aiming for people who is in their elder age, especially in uh, cardiac arrhythmias. Mm -hmm. So I think it was our a good strategy to aim for accessibility and aging tech. So about the the CS Innovation Award, we can talk about it more. But first, I want to know more about your company mm -hmm. and what is the service you're offering? So uh, CL Homes is a digital diagnostic platform uh, developed by Homes AI. Uh, it, can, uh, it uses artificial intelligence to detect and prevent uh, heart disease rate, heart disease uh, anom anomalies at an early stage. And notably, it's a patent AI technology, can accurately diagnose 21 types of cardiac arrhythmias, and it can also predict heart disease risk up to six months in advance. And these capabilities set apart from existing products and in terms of accuracy and uh, innovation. And uh, how is it working for the people? Is it an app? Is it a project that we wear? Uh, uh, it's, a, it's, a patch. it's a patch. It's a small medical smart device patch that you put on your left chest area. So you, we are currently uh, aiming for about one week span to wear mm -hmm. the device. And throughout those one week, uh, we measure the, the heart rate, the uh, ECG, and we also rate the uh, oxygen saturation and temperature. And so uh, anyone can just uh, apply the patch, so don't need to, be, uh, to go seeing a doctor? Yes, if you, wanna, if you want to get diagnosed in heart disease, we would like to um, offer the product and let the patients wear the device for a, over a span of one week. And then throughout those uh, records, we can ask our doctors to diagnose the rhythms and see if we can detect anomalies or uh, weird vital signs, therefore preventing heart, uh, cardiac arrhythmias in advance. Okay, that, that's very weird. Like, there's a lot of issues uh, for aging people around that. And is it live uh, detection or I wear it for a week and then I upload the result and then I got the diagnosis? Yes, uh, so <laughs> for over the week we save, we record and save the, the vital sign for a week and then we upload, upload to our platform and the doctors will uh, evaluate based on the, the results. And um, so are you already on the market? Can I buy it uh, or do you have a plan to, to make it available? We could ask our healthcare providers to uh, give our products to the patients. So I can go tomorrow to a doctor in the States and uh, be able to get a device, right? Yes, that's correct. And uh, what kind of uh, cost is it for the people? Is it a subscription? Is it a one-time payment? Is it with insurance? Uh, currently, uh, from Korea, it's different from the United States, how the health insurance system, system works. So we will have to talk with the medical department to check our uh, insurance policy and set the uh, proper amount to give out to the patients. Okay, that's good. Personally, I hope uh, it will arrive to France uh, in the future. But I think it needs more regulation. Uh, Yes. Test, yeah. And if we come back to CES, uh, can you tell me your plan at CES? What are you going to do? Do you have a booth? Are you attending any uh, like uh, any exhibition area? Uh, currently, this year we're not setting up the booth. We're only uh, participating to get the innovation awards. But uh, Las Vegas is the place where we're launching our products and showing it to the world. So we're very excited and looking forward to it. And uh, what would be the, the plan after CES? You already have some plans? Yes, so um, after the uh, Las Vegas CES, uh, our product will be ready to be 
provide to the healthcare providers. And currently in 2025, we're planning to uh, make a subsidiary in Boston, Massachusetts, the USA. And starting from there, we're trying to go global. Okay, it's good to know. Look, so first Korean markets, then US market, yes. then global markets. Yes. Okay, good to know. So at CS, do you already have some meetings planned or you plan to, to get some uh, partner there? So what would be the goal of the attendee in terms uh, of the clients? Our goal at CS is, of course, we're participating to get to receive the innovation awards, but we're also planning to aim for uh, United States healthcare providers and you know people who's interested in medical technology and digital health and let them know that we have a great product that where we can serve people to get in better health and prevent their heart disease. Nice. Yeah. Nice program. Okay, I hope to see you again uh, at CS. Yes. I'm pretty sure I will see you around. I will be next to the Innovation Awards area. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you very much for your time today. And again, congratulations on the CS Innovation Award 2025. Maybe you can uh, even get uh, next year and next year uh, if you uh, apply again. And Hopefully. Open it. But yeah. Yeah. It was uh, great uh, talking with you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. And uh, see you next time. Thank you very much. CS Innovation Awards. Home, Home AI, AI fighting. fighting.